Hey guys, it's me Carmen and I'm here to show you this look. I went with a more like natural um subtle cut crease with just a uh, glossy lip, a really highlighted face. I don't know why my forehead is going like that, but but yeah, if you want to see how I did this look, kind of like a get ready with me, then just keep on watching. Today, I'm bringing you another makeup tutorial. Today, I'm just going to go to work and I have some free time before, so I was like, might as well just film a video. I'm try to keep it a little natural so it won't look too crazy, but we'll see how it goes. I already moisturized with my Mario the Best School. Control moisturizing for oily skin. So my first time trying it, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I also put baby skin instant pour eraser because I'm running out of my benefit professional. And then I also put the Smashbox photo finish all over my face. And now I'm just going to start on my brows. So I just kind of like outline them and fill it in with whatever's left on the brush. And then after, I'll try to like even them out as best as I can. But usually what I do to fix that is I just like blend out the inside right here and then that'll fix it pretty quick. Trying to blend it out a little bit. What I do now is I just fill in like the little sparse areas that I see with my brow is in the shade dark. The brush that I use to do my brows is the Sigma Small Angle E65. There we go. And the brush that I use to carve out my brows is the Morphe M432. And what I'm going to use is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the color Light Sand. This one because it's a really light color, like it's too light for me to use in my under my eye. So I just use it to conceal under the beer lighter. You know. Blend it out with my Morphe E45. So cute, am I right? So cute. Just kidding. It's my Morphe 520. Okay, cool. Oh, and I'm using my Cody Airspun powder in Translucent. I just had to go get another one of these. They ran out. So I'm just gonna dust off the excess with my, it's a random wet and wild brush. I think I'll just use this one. It's just a refillable single eyeshadow thing. This has all of my, it's mostly all Makeup Geek, and then I have a couple, don't even remember which ones, are from Morphe, and then these two are Anastasia Contour. Okay, but I think I'm going to do like a little sunset type of look right now. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Chikri from Makeup Geek. It's really, really pretty yellow. Honestly, my favorite eyeshadow ever. But I'm just basically just putting it on my crease, cleaning it up. 
don't like going in with too too much, just do like one little thing. They look pretty even, so I think I'm going with a little brown just to like bring a little shape. I'm going to use Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. Just deepen it up a little bit. Just to add a little bit of shadow in there. So I'm just going to be one color or whatever. Oh, and I've been using the Morphe E23. Now I'll go in with. like a random Morphe one. It came in a kit. It's just like a random blending brush. And I'm gonna use Morocco by Makeup Geek. And it's just gonna go like in the outer like top. Like I literally used to wear this look out like every day. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bitten. And on my um, Marky R37. the Violet Voss and Laura Lee palette. One with whiskers first. Whiskers right there. I'm using this random Morphe brush from also another set, which is just like, I think it's called like the contour and conceal one or something. They're all like white with silver on top. Here's whiskers. I like to place it first where I want it. Right in the outer beam. At least like a little more blended, but then we'll blend it like into like the other eyeshadows. I'm just going with the same Morphe M 513. And just blend it all in together. Why am I still holding it like this? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna carve out my eyes. Because I have literally been loving that. I do it like every single time. Like, I feel like I like doing it more also with, um, just like natural look, like just brown, and then just concealing it, and then just leaving it like that. I'm just setting it on the it. So I'll do it a little bit above my natural crease line. Use my random Morphe brush. It's another one of those same ones that I used before, but it's more of an angled one. And now, oh my god, I literally went a little too round right there, but whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna grab. A little bit of a packing brush. I'll use my Morphe M418 and I'll use this shade. I've literally, I don't know why I love this one so much, but it's Mirage by Makeup Beak. Yep, and I'm literally almost gonna hit pan. I feel like 
place because I always use it. Like I used to use this one all the time to like set my um my eyelid. It's not too too white. The one I want, I go really really white on. The one from the Nikki tutorial is in Too Faced palette. Oh, what's I do That's the color that I use when I'm doing the really white one. Oh well, right? Oh well. I guess it's just for weird. I'm using a M Morphe M508 brush, my fade, to do a cut crease. Now what I do is I go in with whatever color I use in the outer crease. So I'm going to use a little bit of Morocco and kind of blend that in first. Just to blend this in a little bit. I don't think I'm going to go with any shimmers or anything down. I'm gonna go with Morocco and um, Chickadee. Going with this Chickadee now to blend in the outer part or the upper part, whatever. Good enough, now it's liner time. I literally only have. And now I'm going to use my fave eyeliner that I've been using recently, or eyeliner brush. This one that I got, it's a paintbrush, and it is the Artist Loft, I don't even know, Artist Loft Vienna, I think it's the number four, level three, acrylic brush. I kept this little thing on there just so that I can know what it is. I'm probably going to get myself that confused. Okay, so I'm going to use my Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeliner in the color of Blackest Divine. Okay, now that I've done my liner, you know, as fast as it's gonna look. Now I'm just gonna clean up on the outside of my liner just to make it a little more defined. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend it out. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with foundation. Actually, I'm gonna use this a little bit just to ensure that my acne is not gonna through, and I won't have to put like another layer of foundation just for these little. Honestly, no, I'm just like spot dotting it anywhere to save my skin. Just not. Anymore. Yeah, because then I don't waste as much foundation when doing that. And I'll just kind of blend it out, just like whatever. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray just to hydrate my face a little bit. So I won't have any. Spots. I think I'm gonna just use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade 127. And what I usually do is I just do like one, two, 
three on each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Oh. And then what I do to kind of fill in those areas is I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick oh. whatever in the shade warm natural and I kind of just put that like right here on my temples the other one's too thick to put on there and then I kind of do a little bit like in the little in the middle of it two. And then I just blend it out a little bit with my Morphe E31, which is my favorite. Oh my god. It's my favorite foundation brush ever. Just gonna blend it out real quick. Honestly, I have the worst um, problem with blending like the color with my skin tone because it's so like my neck is such like a weird color like it just changes all the time like it sometimes it's more red sometimes it's a little more like warm tone like yellowy and so honestly it sucks. So I'll find a good color that like looks good on my face. But then when I try to blend it out on my neck, it just does not work. I'm not doing the original. Shade light medium honey. So I use the other one. It's too light. So I get a dot of it everywhere. Just a little tiny. A little tall. I'm gonna blend it all out first with not all like all of it out, but like I do it with my E45 brush, my Morphe, and then I blend it in to the skin with my beauty blender. So I'm using this other random Morphe brush from the same set, just like a pointed one. I'm just going to put that right in my under eye. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick Contour One in the shade Oaks on You. I like this one because it's a little more warm so it's not like a super contour. It'll be more of like a bronzer. Like a liquid bronzer. So now I'm using my Real Techniques brush. It's a multitask brush. I think it's like a limited edition set or something. It's by Sam and Nick Chapman. Whatever that means, but it's just like a powder brush. I like to use this one because I feel like it gets everywhere. It packs it off pretty well. I used to use this big one. This one. This big Morphe G Zero brush. And although it did get 
do a lot. Like I feel like it's got too intense my face. Like it would be patchy in a way. Especially because I don't have the best lighting, so I'll think that it looks good. And then I'll go out somewhere and it's not that good. <laughs> like, it'll be like a totally different color than what I thought. Just like basically bake my whole face, but like not really. So like blend it in. But my face is just so textured that I like need this. I'm just kind of like put it all everywhere. This is the reason why I literally ran out of the Laura Mercier powder because I used so much powder all over my face. And I'm using my other real technique is a contour brush, but I use it to like dust off the, um, the powder. Now that I've done all this, I'm just gonna finish my under eyes. So I'm just gonna go in with Tiki and Morocco. I'm right this time, so. Now that blend, that's blended out. So I'm just gonna go in with that big random blending brush. Using the Kylie, the Kylie brush that came in with the um, royal palette. Just to it out, and then I'm gonna use this. It also came in that one set with the white brushes. It's like white brushes and black brushes. It's purple, and it's pretty bucks, and it came with like so many. So I'm gonna use what was it called? Test of the day. Big 10. One point for me. I'm just gonna use it on the outer half. Kind of cute. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with a little, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of whiskers with the same brush, just thinning it off a little bit. Right there on the outer corner. Honestly, I don't really ever realize how much I move my mouth when I'm trying to do this. I think it's mostly just because I'm trying to do it on the camera, on the computer screen. I'm just gonna blend it out again with the Kylie brush, Loretto. Okay, now I'm gonna put some bronzer and I'll use the Hula Bronzer. The Real Techniques Buffing Brush from that same collection. And I'm just gonna pack it off. Until it's like dark enough for me. I use my Kat Von D palette to contour a little bit, just a little tiny bit. I'm using the shade on the left. It would be subconscious. It's a lighter of the three, and I kind of just use it under. I don't even know how to do them. And 
for blush. I'll just use Gotten Wet and a Wet and Wild one, and I used it in it. So it's this one in the shade. Mellow wine. I'm say the mellow. Okay. It's like not too deep. A little bit of wine. Mm -hmm. Fill up a little blush in. You know? Very natural. Almost natural. <laughs> okay. Now I'll just set it a little bit with my other Mario Badescu spray. Okay. Just to let all that powder sink into my face. You don't know. I'm constantly like spraying my face with those. Meanwhile, I'll fix my eyeliner to make it look a little darker. Okay, now I'm going to put on mascara. On these eyes. I'm not going to put false lashes because I honestly don't even use them on a daily like this. Uh, now I'll just put on highlighter. Now I think I'll use my Laura Geller. This highlighter has never let me down, honestly. And I'll be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter brush in A23. I'll just dip it around. I think I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Starlight Powder for number 13. Why not, right? Why not? Just to do the extra glow. Honestly, though, I wish I was, um, like, I wish. I could actually rock in the corner highlight, but I feel like it just doesn't look good on me. Like I've tried putting some on there, and it just does not look good on me, and I wish it did, I wish. Well, I feel like if I put it on my brow bone, it might be too much. <sighs> look at that, guys. Just look. Just... I mean, like, why would you not get this? It is pretty small this little thing but I literally use like the tiniest tiniest bit. this lipstick I literally use every day like when I just want to wear like a tint to my lips I use the Selena lipstick in Amor Prohibido I'm just gonna use one of my best and most glasses. I got like this kit from Michael's. So I don't I heard that the lip glasses were really good. So I was like, might as well try it. I'm gonna go on with Amy. Little minions are so cute. It's cute. And then I'm going with a little bit of Dominique. That's the best in the process. And put it on the center. It's more of like a. See, it's in glossy. So this is my final look. You know, just a little natural 
TikTok crease with the glossy lid with an orange shirt, you know. Just the usual like everyday look for like work or like school or just to like go out and throw away the trash, you know. Whatever, but um, 